So I woke up this morning and checked Twitter as usual. I noticed I had a DM. Someone DM'd me their One Piece theory on what the One Piece really is. So I read over it and I really didn't agree with the theory because I already feel like there's a One Piece theory set in stone right now, what the One Piece is. I feel like right now at this point, this is the best evidence we have for what the One Piece really is. I think at this point, most of the manga readers know what the One Piece is going to be. And it's pretty obvious. It's the destruction of the red line. So let's discuss this theory. First of all, I'm Don Straha. If you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're interested in seeing what I'm doing behind the scenes, follow me on Twitter. The handle is the one straw hat. Other than that, let's get right into this video. Play the intro. So this One Piece theory is insane, okay? It's a lot of plot points that intertwine and mix in a bowl to form this theory. So let's go over some of the plot points that we were given, the in-context clues. Uh, the first one we should start at is Madame Charlie predicting that Luffy is going to destroy Fisherman Island. Now what you should know is Madame Charlie has never predicted anything falsely. And this is a great way for Oda to foreshadow something that will happen in the future. Alright, that's the first plot point. Now you're like, okay, what does that have to do with anything? What does that prediction have to do with the red line? Well, if you realize where Fishman Island is located, it's literally directly beneath the red line. So thus, if you destroy the red line, you're in turn destroying the Fishman Island. Now you might be like, but the Fishman Island is never going to get destroyed. Where would the Fishman live? Well, that's already been set up as well. Uh, we have Noah's boat, the, the Noah's Ark. That also has a purpose that hasn't been fulfilled yet. And if you understand it from the Bible, everything was like carried on Noah's Ark in the Bible. So imagine carrying the Fishmans and in... Uh, Using Noah's Ark, we could relocate all the fishermen to the surface, and we know that's what they want. So there's that. Then we have chapter 967 that came along, and it's it's such a weird chapter. It's the chapter, if you don't remember it is, it's the one where Roger actually got to Laugh Tale, and all they did was laugh. That same specific chapter, we actually get a mention of Shirohoshi not being born yet, and she's obviously the ancient weapon. Because that was thrown in there randomly, and I don't think Oda threw that in there for no reason. And then we get to Laugh Tale at the end of the chapter, where you just see Roger laugh. So what theorists started to say is that he actually got to Laugh Tale and the treasure was there, he just couldn't use it. In order to use the One Piece treasure, you needed all three ancient weapons. And Shirohoshi wasn't born yet and Roger was a little bit too early. It wasn't time yet. That's why Roger created the Great Pirate Era for Luffy or for someone to carry Roger's will, who is obviously we know it's Luffy at this current point. Now Shirohoshi is born, so the time is now. So I believe that the One Piece needs all three ancient weapons. Now that, now that that's settled, we know that the One Piece needs all three ancient weapons. What's the purpose? As I said, from the other theory that Fishman Island is going to be destroyed, it's got to be destroying the Red Line. Now you're like, okay, why do we need to destroy the Red Line? Well, let's look at some of the other Straw Hat's goals. Sanji, his goal is actually connected to that. Because if we destroy the Red Line, it actually merges all the blues. That would be the North, East, South, and West Blue, creating the All Blue. Nami wants to draw a map of the whole world. The best way to do that would be to destroy the red line so you could actually see the whole world. Brooke wants to see Laboon again, but Laboon, as we know, is behind the red line. The majority of the Straw Hat's dreams are connected to Luffy's dream. Also, stationed on the red line is Marie Joa, the Holy Land, where the Celestial Dragons live. So wouldn't we want to destroy that? Also, if you watch Tekken 101, he's mentioned something very interesting. There is no other island where you can find that same rock that the red line has so that leads me to believe that the red line it's not something natural in that one piece world it could possibly be man-made so yeah that's all i have for this theory um i think the one piece does have does tie into the red line destruction theory um but yeah other than that i hope you guys enjoyed my content if you did please leave a like comment subscribe to the channel for new if you want more one piece content um and i'll see you guys next time peace out